Welcome to the Gibbs Cam 2015 video number three. Today we're going to talk about cut part rendering. You can see I have some tools here and some operations on this part. Now before you open up cut part rendering, just go over to the icon of your simulation and right click. And you can see you have five choices there. Operation Sim, Machine Sim, Tool, Rapid, and Legacy. Legacy is for the really old computers that don't have OpenGL. So if you're one of the guys that have a computer from 1980, you might want to use that. But other than that, uh, don't use it. Machine Sim would be if you actually have a uh, machine model of your CNC and want to see that cut as well uh, when you're doing simulation. But other than that, just choose Operation Sim. This is the new Operation Sim toolbar here. So I'm just going to rewind it, click on Play. You can see it rendered pretty fast because I have it set for fast settings. Now to get to the settings, just right click, go down to settings. You can see it's set for fast. It cuts pretty fast, and you can see if that's the toolpath you want, but it is pretty faceted. So I just use that as a preliminary rendering to see how it looks. Other than that, you can click on accurate. Or the one I kind of like the most is probably under custom because under accurate and fast you have no choices here on your settings. But under custom, usually I like to set this at a half thou to one thou. And click on apply and rewind and play. You can see it's still going to be pretty fast. And still look pretty good. So I like to have my choices here of uh, those particular settings. And usually I keep about 20 on frames per second is, is pretty good there. So let's close this right now. Let's go through some of these toolbars here. The first one is stops here. On the stops, you can have it stop before every tool. So if I rewind, click play, you can see it finishes out that tool before it goes to the next tool. So if you just want to see what a particular tool does there. Okay. Next one, stop, part, unload. Mainly that's used for MTM machines with main and sub spindles. So it'll show you the part before it transfers over to the sub spindle or unloads. Okay. We won't be using that here. The stop before operation, just check that and then you can click on the value here and choose where you want Gibbs to stop on the rendering. So in here I'll just click on 10 and rewind, click on play. And it's going to render till it gets to uh, finishes operation number nine, as you can see over here. So, like it says, stop before operation ten. From here, if you want, you can slow it down and watch what number ten does, and go on from there. You can also have it start an operation, and you can have it stop at a particular operation with some features. It tells you the feature there. Okay, the next one is tool motion on target body. Uh, this is really only used for machine simulation. It'll show you the, your machine moving, all your table and axes and head and everything moving, but it's not going to actually show you cut the part, uh, cutting the part with your tools. It's more of a uh, tool simulation. Okay, the next one which I probably like the most is op color mode. As you can see on here, when we uh, play this, everything on this part is gray. But if you have a problem with an area, it's kind of hard to find which operation you had a problem with. So by turning on cut color, if you go by tool number, which is usually what I do, you can see every tool now has its own color. And if you don't like that color, you can change that to whatever you like. Just by double clicking and changing that color. Now as you render, you can see each tool is going to have its own color. So it's very easy to find mistakes in your part just by looking at the color of your operation, matching it with the tool over here, and then you can go in and repair the problem you had with that. The other one is operation number. Okay, Before I show you that, you can see that these four pockets over here are all the same color. But if you had a problem with one of the pockets, it's still a little bit hard sometimes to see what tool did that. So by changing it to op, number, you can see every single 
tool now, or every single operation has its own color, even if you're using the same tool. So as you uh, cut the same pockets, like in this example here, you can see each pocket has its own color. So now you can find if there's a problem with one of these, which operation did that. Okay. So for the most part, I like tool number. That works the best. Okay, the next one is uh, collision checking. If you have this on, let's purposely make it collide. I'm going to tell it that the clearance plane is minus a half inch. I'm going to rewind that, click on play. You can see the very first thing it's going to show you is there's a collision here. You want to continue, and of course, you can continue through your part if you want to see. Okay, now to set this, if you right click under the operation sim settings again and under the collision program errors you can click have a click uh, click on stop animation log to display flash or a beep on your computer usually I just like it to have stop animation there. Okay, let's put this back to point one the uh, next one this is just program error checking it's, it checks your code as well uh, this one is POV lock Okay, for the most part, we stay on fixed part there. You can see the tool actually moves around your part, and the part stays fixed. A lot easier to see, but actually when you're cutting on your machine, you're probably, this is probably actually how it's cutting. So your tool, for the most part, just moves up in Z, and your uh, X, Y table moves around, but a little hard to see when it's rendering. So that's why we have it set to fixed part. Now, if you have machine simulation, your actual machine, you will click on machine. Okay. But otherwise, fixed part. The next one is uh, show position. As you render, you can see your X, Y, Z here. This is just showing you minimum and maximum of the tool path. But this is your tool position, X, Y, and Z. Okay, the next one is, rewind it, the next one is skip unselected ops, so you just want to see a few operations, you can click that on, rewind, click on play, and it's just going to show you the rendering of those operations that you have selected. And the next one is analyze cut part. Okay, what this will do is it will show you what material is left from uh, your tools versus your solid model. And to do that, you just need to click on your solid model and then click on analyze part. And you have a few other choices here, remaining material, things like that. And then you can uh, see what's left over by clicking on show as you play it. And that's kind of what it looks like uh, after you've rendered it and click on this analyze part you can kind of see what's left over from each tool there. Okay, the next one is along the bottom here. Of course is, let me rewind that, click on play. Okay, you want to see a tool visibility as hidden or transparent or solid tool. This one over here shows the stock transparency. So you're going to see transparent stock. The next one will be fixture transparency. So you can see my fixture is now transparent. Okay. This one's a cutaway for uh, lathe stock. This one is really handy as well. I, I really like overlay geometry. So by clicking on that, you can see now as you cut part render, still have your geometry up there makes it nice and easy to check things as well. Okay, the next one over here is show rapid tool. So every time the tool rapids, it's going to turn the tool shank actually red. So as you're rendering here, let's slow it down a little. You can see it turns from red to blue or whatever color you chose at that time. 
And the next one is show tool holder. So you can see now you are seeing the tool holder. Okay, and the last thing on here is record video. So if you click on record video, you can save it to whatever location you'd like, change your frames per second. You probably want that up probably above 100, and then your, of course, video dimensions. And uh, make sure you put your frame rate up if you want to see a nice looking picture. But that will record the video as you render. And the last thing on this new simulation, cut part rendering. We'll play it through. It is by right clicking up in the OpSim rendering bar again. You can go down to save as an STL file. So you can save that externally to some other uh, location on your computer as an STL file. Save to bitmap or create facet body. I usually use create facet body and we'll show you what that's going to do. Okay, so I've created a facet body. If I put my model in the body bag here, let's turn off my tools. This is the uh, facet body of what you cut. Okay. And it always shows kind of transparent to tell you that that's the uh, simulation body there. But you can use this as the next operation. So if I were to change that to a stock for my next operation, now when I go to cut part render on my next operation, everything will be machined but what was left over from my previous tools. So thanks for watching this video.